Welcome to NEET login. The interlinked conceptual questions in plant physiology that is in plant respiration. The question it is how many molecules of ATP are produced by oxidation of one molecule of glucose. In these options 30 ATP, second 36 ATP, third 4 ATP and fourth one it is 40 ATP. And in case of aerobic respiration the glycolysis and a link reaction and it is the Krebs cycle that is the TCA. In case of the glycolysis the net gain of ATP it is going to be 2 ATP as the total 4 ATP is formed first and third reaction 2 ATP consumed a net gain of 2 ATP molecule and the 2 NADH2 formed in case of glycolysis 1 in between glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate to 1 3 biphosphoglyceric acid for one molecule 1 NADH another molecule in NADH so 2 NADH formed in glycolysis. Next in case of the mitochondria 1 2 3 4 NAD for one pyruvic acid and FAD 1 FADS2 and 1 ATP. So in case of the Krebs cycle for one cycle one ATP it is formed and if you count the total number of ATP 1, 2, 3, 4. Each NADS2 its value is the 3 ATP. So, 4 into 3 the 12 ATP plus FADS2 2 ATP plus 1 ATP that is going to be total it is 15 ATP. So, oxidation of 1 pyruvic acid in mitochondria is going to yield 15 ATP. So, another pyruvic acid is going to contribute 15 ATP a total of 30 ATP. Next, as 2 NADS formed in case of the glycolysis, for oxidation it has to enter into the mitochondria that is going to contribute another it is the 6 ATP. So, a total of 30 plus 6, 36 ATP and in case of the glycolysis the total ATP formed it is the 4 ATP. So, it is going to be total ATP it is the 40 ATP. But net gain of ATP it is 38 ATP and you can find the number of question based on this. So, how many number of ATP formed for one pyruvic acid for oxidation of the coenzymes we have to exclude what it is the ATP that is going to be 14 ATP. How many number of ATP formed in case of the glycolysis with involvement of oxygen because these reactions which are not one after other it is simultaneous. Whenever it is required the ATP is formed. So, NADS2 formed in glycolysis it enter into the mitochondria is going to yield ATP. So, what is the net gain of ATP in case of the glycolysis to ATP? What is the net gain of ATP in glycolysis with the involvement of oxygen? As NADS2 is going to yield 6 ATP, as net gain it is the 2 ATP going to be 8 ATP in case of the glycolysis. So, the number of ATP as a net gain with involvement of oxygen in glycolysis is going to be 8 ATP. As far as this question concerned, how many number of ATP molecule for 1 glucose? The number of total number of ATP molecule is 40 ATP as the net gain is 38 ATP. So, the answer it is the fourth option that is 40 ATP. More such the interlinked conceptual questions in botany download our NEET login app.